Welcome back to my channel. I'm Amanda. Um, so today we're going to be working on this um, Christie's Beautiful Life Day 25 um, Adam Westward sketch, which was pretty lovely. And I'm going to be using a hip kit club. And so I've kind of looked at my um, papers and I'm going to do this one of my youngest. She is not that little anymore, but man, she's cute. And so I picked out some pages. So there's this one. And that's the back side. It is from Happy Something. It's true. Um, I'll put this in the, the description box below. So a couple card stocks. Then I picked out this Pink Fresh Studio one. And it is Life Right Now. And I like the, the B side of that one. And then I looked at this one from the Hip Kit Club Social Hour as well. And that's the, the other side. And these were some of the other papers, but I don't use them. So I've narrowed it down to these few already. And so um, I'm just going to play around with the pages for a second. And so I know I want the busy on the background. So it's either one of those as the background. And I know that I want this purple scallop probably on the front, but I haven't 100% decided. So I could do that for matting, which is nice. I like it too. And I could do, I'm going to just put these on top and see what I think. So that one's going to go there for the sketch, kind of sort of like that. Um, and then I'm just going to look at the other one. And I definitely like that more. And so then I just need to decide on which purple. And I go with the one that's right there just because it's a, a better match to her little hat that she's blinging out. So. I'm going to cut everything down and get it all matted with that triple triple pages and I'm going to gut these as well. So this one I'm just going to trim down and then you can see that I've gutted it and my top piece goes on. Magic of editing. Yay. <laughs> and then on it goes. And so now I have my base and I'm going to use some of those off cuts to back my photos. So I'm going to use that purple and then I'm going to use the, the busy one around the larger picture. And I just trimmed the, the two smaller pictures were um, four by sixes, but they had a lot of extra stuff in the background. And so I just trim them off just so that it looks a little bit nicer. So. so now I'm just finishing up that background mat for that middle picture where it's close up to my my youngest and she's in the room actually chatting with me right now. And so she's like, oh, I remember that hat and oh, what are those strings? So she, in the first picture up there, she's got strings that um, she's playing with and then she tied them to her hat and so she absolutely loved to bling out some of this stuff. So now I am looking at some of the the embellishment that came in that hick kit club and I'm going to use um, the Pink Fresh Studio Some Days Element Pack and the Life Right Now and Happy Place stuff that's in there. So. Sorry about that little bit of a wobble. Um, my dog is underneath my table and uh, my camera is not connected to my table, but it is connected to the um, shelving unit beside it. And he likes to bump that every once in a while. He is a massive. So so here I'm just playing with some of the cardstock embellishments. And I thought about using these lemons and giving this a um, shelf to sit on decide not so much. So I left some of the fussing in because it doesn't all come together right away all the time. So so I thought about the lemons 
uh, lemons aren't just uh, yeah not gonna do it so I, this corner piece comes up and then I like the way that looks and then I'm looking at uh, I'm doing a, a diagonal and so I was thinking around the pictures diagonal and then I find this bigger one sorry that the bottom's cut off here um, I need to I tend to scrap a little bit closer to me and I'm going to have to figure out how to get my camera to sit the way I want it to. So I'm just fussing around. Okay, so just putting in some of these pieces. Still thinking about that shelf. Still talking with my kiddo too, so I've, that's why I haven't really noticed that I'm off my um, my mat there. So I decided I'm going to pop this one up. So on go my foam dots, and yep, this this is my youngest, and so this is from a few years ago. She's almost twelve, which is crazy to me. She's about six, I think here. And she's always had a lot of spunk, and she's always, always, always liked to um, jazz her stuff up. So I'm just finding where the center is, so I have a, a good idea of where the center of this is going to be. So about there, and then this one's going to hide underneath, and I'm just going to use um, my Tombow tape runner that's the permanent one and then I'm going to put this one underneath so that top picture is a little has that more of that focus because I have the extra mat around it too and it is so cute <laughs> and so that one's going to come under as well and still thinking about this shelf piece now I've decided, no, I really just don't like it. Oh, I have to like hum and haw over that one. And I'm going to start putting all these flower pieces on because I like them. So this one's getting popped up. My popping up is not on the screen, but just using foam dots. These are dollar store ones. I have some other ones I can use too, but. I'll use up the dollar store ones first. So that one gets popped up and there'll be some more that I pop up here too. Um, there's lots and lots and lots of flowers and leaves and things so I'm just gonna start popping them in. Where did the ones go that I want to use? So I'm just looking for different bits and pieces because I have them all over the place because I don't know why I don't use the things that I need to use when I want to use them. I have all sorts of trays that I could use, but no, not today. So then that one gets popped up and, and just overlaps on that corner to bring all those little pieces together for those three layers of paper. And then I'm just going to start popping these on here and do a little less, I'm going to say a little less fussing, but I still fuss some. And then putting the leaves on, um, there's more of the tealy leaves at the top and there's more of the green leaves at the bottom, because um, in this pack they are different colors of green, which is kind of funny. It is what it is, but so I will switch out some of those teal ones on the bottom side eventually so that I can bring some of the lighter green and the like the more yellow green that's on the bottom up to where the more tealy green is at the top. But there's a lot of tealy green for the leaves in, in this pack, but not as many of the yellow green. The yellow green are all on the, the bigger clusters, it feels like. So just sliding it under because those ones are, or that picture's popped up, it's just easy to slip right underneath. 
I've decided those lemons aren't going to make it on for sure now, so I move them out of the way a bit. Just popping stuff in. Most time I cut these down if they're hiding underneath so that I can use another piece somewhere else and saves a little bit more for other spots. So that one's going to come up here because why not? And that one just gets tucked because there's not a lot to cut off there. And then here's where I'm going to switch out a couple of these not that one, but one of the these greeny teal, greeny greeny ones. There we go. That's more teal. It's hard to, to see that it is on the screen, but it has more of a teal look. And so I'm just moving stuff around. So now it's just a couple more things that are left to do. So I was thinking about use doing the title, um, but I noticed my enamel dots on the corner there, so I'm going to use these instead. And so these ones came in that hip, hip, hip kit club. And so they match really well with what was in this. So then they look pretty dark on the page, but in real life they're not as glaringly dark, but they do match the colors on that really well. So I'm just gonna sprinkle some of the pink ones and the greeny blue ones are kind of like a teal and some of the purple ones around. Just anywhere that there's a, a spot kind of open, I'm just going to pop some in. So I'll get a little bit of everything. I thought about maybe the yellow too, because I have quite a bit of yellow on the page, but I decide not. And so now it's time for title. So I was asking my kiddo what she thought her title should be, and so she thought it should be springtime, and I didn't really like springtime, so because um, a, it wasn't spring. So I was thinking of doing bling or bling it up. So she decided bling it was best. So it's just going to go on the side here. Um, I decided that those purple aren't showing up as much as I want. And so there is this other one that's right here. And that one is the Love Always Puffy Alpha. And so that came in the Love Always Hip Kit Club. And so I'm going to put it up along the side here. It's such a pretty alpha. And it just stands up just a little bit more and it brings in some of the pink in those flowers in. And so if it was going to be bling it up, it was going to go around the top, but bling it was the vote. So it's bling it and then with an exclamation mark. It's really easy to put on the page just because it's got that line that I can use. And so on it goes. I really like this one. It's such a pretty alpha. And there's the exclamation mark. And Oh, a little heart gets put here from the alpha. And I thought of one up here. It's going to get another one down here. Down there, right there. <laughs> and that is my page for today. So there'll be some close ups coming up here. And I hope you enjoyed. And thank you for watching. I know there's lots of places that you could be. I would really appreciate a like, a subscribe, and that kind of thing. And have yourself a great day.